Blessings Lafayette family and Facebook friends, my daily message for Saturday, November 12th. And remember, there's lots of great stuff at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And you can join us for worship at 1030 every Sunday morning in our sanctuary, online, or by drive up. Come worship with us. My scripture today is Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. For when dreams increase and words grow many, there is vanity, but God is the one you must fear. This is the word of the Lord. <sighs> oh, sorry, I was daydreaming there for a moment. <laughs> Well, no, I wasn't really. I don't know. How was my acting job? Probably pretty poor. But we've all seen people daydreaming, especially in situations where we might consider it inappropriate at a meeting or during worship <laughs> or when you're having a conversation with someone and it's your turn to talk and then they start daydreaming. Well, daydreaming doesn't have very good press. You know, people who daydream a lot are considered to be very often lazy or unproductive, and the Bible does warn us against too much dreaming and not enough action. But if you are a daydreamer, I have good news for you. Daydreaming apparently has crucial benefits. Researchers stumbled upon these while trying to study something else. Apparently, Daydreaming allows the hippocampus region of the brain to transfer memories from short-term to long-term. In other words, if you want to hold on to memories that are here and now, if you want to still be able to remember them, daydreaming is a mental state that allows the hippocampus to do that processing. Without daydreaming, your long-term memory isn't near as sharp as it could be. Now, this isn't a free pass <laughs> to daydream at all the wrong times and places, but it reminds us that God has created us amazingly and everything does work together. Daydreaming has also been shown to lead to certain levels of creativity. So, remember, God has created us wonderfully. God blesses us and challenges us. God expects us to serve and to do good work. But God also gave us room to do a little daydreaming. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that daydreaming maybe isn't as bad as we thought and that perhaps we don't have to feel guilty when our minds wander. We ask these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.